Photography is a combination of art and science. My father is an avid photographer. The first camera he ever bought was a sheet film camera in the early 1930s. He bought it with the money he earned from shining shoes in a hat and laundry shop that his parents owned in Milwaukee. The shop was right next door to the famous Milwaukee Journal newspaper. One thing, my dad had a shop, and his shop was, he was a hat maker. He took, actually, would get raw straw and stuff from South America and straw hats and things like that he made. And the others, he would get the, the felt and make felt hats. So his place was pretty popular for that because he's about the only one probably in the state that was making hats at the time. The guys from the Milwaukee Journal were certainly good customers because they were also good tippers. But they came into the shop, but they were also getting their uh, clothing cleaned and dry, dry cleaned, and their hats redone by my dad. So along there, I always got a chance to meet them and chat with them. They were a nice group. And uh, it was through them, I think, that I got kind of interested, really, in aspects of photography because in the newspapers, they did a lot of photography. I could get, at times, film that they couldn't trust as older film because of their work. They wouldn't want to lose a full first-class photo for some incident. I would get out-of-date film that they wouldn't take a chance on. I would ask for it because they came in, got their shoe shine, and they and I talked to them about photography all the time. And uh, I would notice things that were printed by them in the news, and I thought it was something different. And I'd always ask them what did they do to get those pictures. And so it was a nice way of learning. So it was a while before I got my first camera, but my first camera was a very nice camera. So and it was kind of a almost like a, a newspaper photographer's camera, but a little on a smaller scale in that it used sheets of film, not rolls of film. They were in a package and about like a cigarette package almost and they slide out and they go into the you do it in the dark room and they slide it into the camera fixture that holds the film to take the pictures and uh, that made it a different kind of camera and a very very good camera it was called a press camera young jack clemens was always eager to talk with the journalists who stopped by his parents hat and laundry shop next to the milwaukee journal newspaper while he shined their shoes he asked them questions about photography their cameras, their film, how they took the photographs, how they developed the film, everything. The journalists liked young Jack, and they'd give him the film that they couldn't use because it had expired. Hats, laundry, and photography. What a perfect combination. <laughs>